So step one for the badge is whether I restore it, whether I replicate it, everything I do with it, first thing I want to do is dress it up a little bit. As we've discussed, the, the moulding's not very brilliant. Um, the holes aren't round. You can see the edges have got flash lines on them. And I'm not the first person to remove this badge. I've removed it with dental floss and I know I've not damaged the badge. But when you look at the back of the badge, there's some quite severe score marks in the plastic, suggesting that somebody's used something um, a lot more abrasive, possibly cotton, and been pulling away from the car while I've done it. And what this has resulted in is there's some notches on the back and some wobbly edges. Um, I mean, it's not really a great starting badge for any projects. So I'm going to dress this up and I'm simply going to do that with a scalpel with a half round tapered and flat um, needle file and I have a wet and dry sanding block. Put them together with a little bit of patience and anybody should be able to just dress this thing up and make it a bit more square and true. That edge, I'm never going to be able to just file to the standard I want. So it's going to have to have some sort of filler on it. Still got some of the foam pad. Going back here. The well, good news is it doesn't stick to the back of the badge anything like as well as it sticks to the car. It took me about three minutes real time to get this off the car. It took me 25 minutes to get the sticky pad real time off the uh, bodywork or the remnants of it. This is rather easier. Okay, so much fettling later. I've got it to the point where I'm happy with the edges. There was an awful lot of crap. I mean, some of this is the foam off the back, but awful lot of uh, phrase, burr, whatever you want to call it, flash, um, hanging over. And also, it definitely has been pried off previously. So, if I just put a white-ish background in place, um, hopefully what you can see is I've got a reasonably smooth perimeter. I just think I've got a little bit more to do there. A reasonably flat top and bottom, but you can see a kink here. And that kink is actually, uh, it's very hard to show on camera. So 
so we can get the focus to work. A notch in the bottom edge where it's been pried at. Uh, let's see if I can move the lighting for you. If the lighting's flickering, by the way, on the imagery, I'm really not sure why. I'm getting the effect on my camera, and yet I'm using an incandescent light bulb. Normally you get that sort of thing with LED. Um, yeah, so there's a bit of a notch there, and also one there where somebody's had a screwdriver under it. So I'm going to try and repair that and that and a little bit there using some body filler. I'm going to use uh, plastic padding, uh, chemical metal variety. Uh, why? Because that's what I've got, um, not because it's necessarily the best, but any form of body filler will do for this job. And with most of these, it's a case of mix um, an amount of the putty which is normally registered as the size of a golf ball with a P of hardener. I'm not going to need anything like that much, so I'm going to just pro rata it. I'm working on a piece of silicone rubber sheet, and that's brilliant stuff because nothing much sticks to it and means you can. Uh, Mix your hardener and putty on it. Oops, seems to have crystallized a little bit. In my head, that's a P to a golf ball. And as always, I'm using bits of cut up biscuit box, plastic tub, uh, spatulas and scrapers because they're free. And actually fine, they reuse nicely. They're thinner than most of the spatulas that you can buy. And you can, of course, just cut them to any shape or form you fancy. I find working it like this adds a little bit of heat and therefore speeds things up as well as getting it nice and homogeneous i.e. all one substance rather than two all right let's just scrape that over there and all i'm going to be doing is applying as a little as i can to my badge because most of it's going to have to be filed back off just want to make the edges nice and even. I'll leave it a little bit proud. Go around and find all the little notches on my badge. So if you can see properly, but I've got another one there. And just scrape some in to that notch. And hopefully, even it all up. It's got a warm day today, so I've got to work reasonably quickly. So I'll just let this set. As soon as this sets, I can bend the, um, the white uh, sheet and that'll come off and the same with my scraper. So we'll just leave this in the sun. As soon as it's firmed up, file it and go again. Oops, so clean up, give that a flex. Or a 
advantage of them being thin. They're easy to flex. And plastic padding is obviously quite flexible, so you've got to be able to move this around quite a lot to get it off. But there you go. I'll use that one again. And this stuff, which is nail hard now, won't stick. Just give it a fold. That's all going to crumble off. So, just in certain areas, put the putty on and try and take it off, leaving a repair behind. That files off quite nicely. I'm not after perfection, genuinely not. I mean, you can't get your head in a position to see most of these things, but it's interesting to me to do these little repairs, so that's why I'm doing it. You can see I've got a crooked edge there now. That's gone. I think that's looking pretty good. Just going to use my wet and dry sponge. It's just a foam block with some wet and dry compound on it. And uh, use that. It's not going to be engineer flat. That's not what I'm after. But it is going to mean they're a reasonably flat surface. one repaired badge. Now I've got nice crisp edges. The profile is good. <laughs> A little bit of air lining to get rid of any dust. Picked up a few little flakes of powder from the uh, sanding. That does not look half bad. Much, much better, much smoother transitions than previously. Lies nice and flat. So if you wanted perfection, you wouldn't be doing it this way. But Looking at where the badge starts from, even when it was brand new, that is an improvement. Okay, so what's next? Um, I think what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to make a plaster mould. So I can have a go at making really cheap and cheerful um, plastic replicas of this badge. That way I've got something else to try out some painting techniques on. Um, and I'll show you the really easy and quick way to get some plastic replicas of your badge. Again, without going out and buying loads of expensive kit, um, the shed or garage way of doing these sorts of things.